hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talking about six time management tips for student printers These are actually tips for students who equally run their businesses students who are equally entrepreneurs so let's get right straight into the video my first point is plan plan the day before or plan early the next morning it's very very important to plan and i feel like a lot of us just undermine the notion of planning meanwhile it plays a very big deal in us being able to realize the goals that we set for ourselves or even just the little objects that we set for ourselves because let's take for instance i wake up in the morning let's say the previous that i had in mind that um, i have to make Let's take for instance what I do, parfait, one of the things I do. Let's say I need to normally do um, six parfaits, parfait calls because six people contacted me because that they want. Let's say for instance I need to do six parfait calls because six people contacted me the previous night that they need parfait the next day. And then I did not write it down. Like let's say my planner in my jota, it's not right down. I just kept in my head kind of like, okay, I need to make six perfect because and then the next day, maybe because I'm in a hurry or something, I forget that I'm supposed to do six and then I said to five. And then now when it's the time for me to deliver the order that I start realizing that oh my god, I've left out one person. Imagine like our situation, maybe somebody has already paid you to do like maybe a huge order even and then because you don't plan, you don't write it down, you forget. So planning is very, very important. Be it the night before or the or the next day, very early in the morning. Write out every activity that you have to carry out. Write it down. Because you feel like oh no, it's in my head. But bro, sis, you're going to forget. You're going to forget if you don't write it. But when you write it down, you always have something to come back to. To look at like okay hey, i need to do this let me not forget to do this but if you don't write it down when you forget who has to pay for the consequences you have to pay for the consequences so avoid situations like that where you're going to forget what you have to do because you do not plan 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 everybody knows that this is the national anthem on my channel it's not like i'm perfect in planning it's not like i'm just like okay every time i plan sometimes i do forget to plan and i actually face the consequences that's why i always come and remind you guys that guys please let's plan let's hop on this planning train and always plan our activities so that we're not going to get into uncomfortable situations or things are going to penalize us because sometimes there's just little things that happen and they're like anyways but now imagine a situation imagine a situation where it's something really really huge and you forgot to plan it and then now you forgot to do it and then you have like huge 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 consequences after that let's forget let's let's avoid situations like this and resolve to actually planning all the time okay guys let me quickly talk about this so in the same night of talking about time management i want to present to you guys this platform cure learn you can access the website on www.mycurelearn.org it actually has a variety of courses ranging from project management business management time management cyber security in fact they have a lot of courses that they offer and if you want to really improve your skills in a particular domain even presentation skills writing skills this is the platform for you the courses that they offer are going to be of great help to you depending on what you want to learn you're going to definitely find a course in that domain and so i'm going to leave a link to the website in the description box and as well you can dm me on insta to be able to get more information about it if you need clarifications on something particular if not do your best to visit the website and check out the available courses courses on leadership in fact you will not be disappointed by what you're going to find there my second point is break down your plan so don't just do to-do list okay today is monday i have to do do Today is morning, you have to do this, 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 you write out the list and then you have the activities that you have to do. Yes, that's good, but that is not enough. You need to actually allocate time to the various activities that you have to carry out. Okay, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. 
5 a.m to 5 30 i'm going to do my morning prayers let's say 7 to 8 i'm on my way to school 8 to 3 i have classes 3 to 5 i'm back home i'm doing orders 5 i'm doing delivery 6 i'm doing this 7 i'm back home 8 i'm editing videos 9 i'm like write it down and then give time allocations for it so you know that at this exact time this is what i'm supposed to be doing because it's not enough to just write on your to-do list okay my nana you get you get caught up with other activities that you're doing it's on your to-do list but now because you do not give it a time an actual time that you're supposed to do it at that time passes and then you don't do it and then now you don't have time to do the game because you've used up the time doing something else meanwhile if you had a specific time allocated to that activity that you have to carry out when the time is you be like okay it's time for this let me now switch up leave what i'm doing and then do this other thing meanwhile if you just have to do this without any time allocation to it you might still forget to do it in as much as you wrote it down but when you have time allocation now okay time is time for this so i'm supposed to stop this other thing and then do this other one are we okay are we together okay. you need to set daily objectives for yourself that is very very important it helps you to equally track your progress you know you're progressing like okay today you have a very like you have main thing i have to do but you have the main objective that no matter do go up come down that objective has to be realized it actually helps you to take conscious steps towards a particular goal that you're actually heading so let's say for instance your goal is to hit 10k subscribers by the end of 2023 and then to be able to hit 10k subscribers at the end of 2023 what step are you doing each day that is helping you to go closer to that 10k that you actually want to hit what is the exact now you're doing like you should have those kind of main objectives you guys your various your different goals that you have set for yourself like okay i'm doing this today and then this is counting for that big goal that i have so you really feel like achieve you feel like you're accomplishing something because you're taking the conscious step to go towards um your objective for your business maybe you have a goal okay in the month of april by the end of the month of april i need to start making monthly sales i need to do at least 100 orders this month so what is that objective for monday well, let me say what's the objective for the first of april that is going to help you to be able to achieve the total number of things that you said you have to make by the end of the month that's what i mean so set those kind of objectives that are like broken down a little piece of your main goal so that you know that you're actually moving towards the goal daily with your daily objectives that you set for yourself delegate task guys we are not super humans i think i've mentioned this on a previous video talking about delegating tasks you cannot do everything by yourself and this is a means for you to manage your time this is a means for you to be able to maybe focus on other important things because you have been able to hand over this thing that you don't necessarily have to do by yourself you've handed it over to somebody else to do it and so now you can focus on the more important thing that's going to help you to grow your business i hope you get so delegate you must not do everything by yourself you can hand over some tasks to other people to do so that you can now use your time for more valuable things that helps you to manage your time better because you might be struggling to get everything done and then there's some key important things that you're not able to do at the end of the day because you have to do all of these other things it's important detect what you can delegate to somebody else detect what you don't necessarily have to do by yourself in your business and hand it to somebody else hand it so you can focus you can use this little time because first of all you're a student print I mean, that you have you have school you have books to read you have assignments to submit you have projects to work on so it means that you have time your time already the majority of your time is already going to school and so if you are struggling to do every single thing for your business because maybe if your business is very demanding and then you're struggling to do all of that thing all of those things sorry by yourself you might just end up in a point where you're just drained you're not just having energy to even do anything again meanwhile you have the possibility to delegate tasks give it to other people to handle then you really should do that because that's going to help you to be able to manage your time better have routines yes i feel like it's important to have a routine like okay a morning with a morning routine and evening routine when i wake up in the morning are the series of things i have to do let's say for instance for me one of the things that i that i'm trying to like input into my evening routine sometimes i forget sometimes i remember but i need to do it constantly so that it can become like part of me is 
taking down writing down all my business expenditures i've printed a book where i write down everything sales in fact everything everything concerning the business so i try to do like i try to make it a habit like input in my routine okay every evening i need to write down what did i spend today on my business what expenditure did i what did i spend basically what did i buy for the business and then what came in what sales did i make what others what others did i make who bought how much how was the quantity that the person bought how much the person buy for like that's part of my evening routine so it means that when a particular time in the evening which i know that hey this is what i'm supposed to do so it's like having that routine maybe when you wake up okay or before you sleep as well you write down okay that the others i have to do tomorrow when you wake up in the morning you have a series you have a, a way that your day unfolds same thing for the evening I believe that it helps you to be more ordered and at the same time now it helps you to manage your time better because talking about planning even it fits into like having a routine because if you have a routine to always plan then you better carry out the activities of the day because you plan and because it's in your routine to plan so you plan all the time so having routines I believe that is equally very important to help you to manage your time last but not the least be disciplined and not necessarily motivated Bro, sis, you're not going to be motivated all the time. But you have an objective that you're working on for your business. And you actually intend to meet the objective. You actually intend to make whatever I say yourself for yourself become a reality. So if you're hoping to wake up in the morning and be, oh, I'm motivated today. Okay, let's get to this. There are days that you're going to wake up and you will not be motivated. But you need to be disciplined. The dis- discipline is actually what is most important because you'll not be motivated all the time, but you have to get what you have to get done. You need to actually hit those business goals, those objectives, those everything that you have for yourself. You need to get it done. And if you're counting on being motivated for you to be able to get it done, then you're not going to you're not going to get whatever you want to get done for yourself. You will not get it done. So you just have to work on your discipline. Work on your discipline. Strive to be more disciplined day in, day out. Read books on self-discipline. Watch videos on self-discipline. Watch, listen to podcasts. Like, just strive to learn more ways for you to be disciplined. Because in being disciplined, you actually manage your time better. Because you will not waste time feeling like, oh God, I'm not motivated today. Oh God, I'm you're in bed and you're contemplating. When you're disciplined, you wake up. Whether you're, motivated, whether you're motivated or not, you're going to wake up and you're going to do what you have to do because that is what you have to do because you're disciplined and you have to do it not because you're not motivated and then you're slagging and all of that. Yes, guys, I'm saying it's not like it's all easy. It's not like it's easy to handle all of this. No, it's not, but everything is a step. When you try to do something and it does not work, you try over and over and over again until you're able to do it to the best of your abilities. So I just wanted to share with you guys this six time management tips that are going to help you as a student who runs her business if you love this please don't forget to like comment share this video with your friend share this video with your friend who is equally a student and is running a business because i'm very very sure that even if it's just one thing that she can pick out from this video is going to go a long way to help he or she to be able to run their business better and equally to be able to be a good student that does very very well in school if you love this video please like i've said already don't forget to share thank you guys so much for watching thank you for listening what was your best point comment down below and see you guys on my next video don't forget to tune in to watch my previous videos. There are a lot of interesting videos I've already done. So don't forget to check out my channel. Check out everything that I do. And you're definitely, definitely going to love it.